Hello fellow hams and YouTubers. Well, we have a non-ham related item here. It was given to me, donated. We'll see if we can fix it. This is a nice little case. Nice leather, leather? Maybe it's even real leather. Case. It's got an HP logo on it, right there. Oh yeah. Something from HP that comes in a leather case, what do you think it's gonna be? There's a little plastic keeper there that keeps the metal front panel in. So that whole panel comes out. Yeah, there we go. So there's the original calculator with all of its functions. And these, this overlay, says GMAC Finance Program right on it, right there. And that corresponds to the GMAC Financing 2 module that's plugged in at the top. So what you would do on the calculator is if you put in a new module you'd get an overlay which you would drop in there, clip down in there, and then your new functions are listed on the buttons for the new program. Neat. So we hit on, nothing happens. And let's see. Ah. Battery case. And oh, I see the problem. We've got connectors, battery connectors in here that are worn clean. See that? The contacts actually worn off right there. It's just plastic. The the gold foil contacts have worn away. It looks like it's just uh, part of this PC board that's exposed. That one's good, and that one's good. That one's scratched off. There's no more metal there. And that one's really scratched off. There's no more metal there. So I'll have to figure out a way to repair those contacts. They look like they're part of a PC board that's bent over. Yeah, there's molded plastic here that sticks up in the case and this is actually a foil part of a PC board that's bent over that that top. So the exposed copper foil on the PC board is what's sticking up to make contact with the batteries which has just worn through, completely worn through. I don't know how you fix that. How do you make new contacts and attach it to that PC board? I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do. I guess we'll make sure the batteries are good. Might as well start there. There. No glare? Okay. Voltage. are all good. I think I just need to fabricate something to uh, replace or repair, cover, contact these uh, worn out foil contacts. Well this might be crazy but I'm going to try it. I took a piece of solid copper wire and a hammer and a piece of metal to bang on and I hammered that copper wire into a thin flat strip. Very thin. There. About the same thickness as these contact points. So then I'm going to cut the uh, thin strip out, form it over that, touch a little bit of solder to each side of that foil and tin this. Press it in there and solder it in bridging over that nub. So it'll form fit into there and recreate an electrical contact surface for the wires. Well I don't know if I can resurrect this calculator. A battery went bad in here and the acid just completely ate this foil away. 
there's no copper left down here to make contact over this run. Here I soldered on my bridge with a, with a flattened piece of copper and it works perfectly. I was hoping to do the same here, but there's no foil here. Now, I scraped a little here and then managed to get some solder to take. So if I can fabricate a flat piece of foil to go over this and make electrical contact to there, I can get this thing working again, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm thinking about now. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera. But what I did was I took some solder braid and I tinned it with some solder so I could form it and I formed it over the top of that nub in about the center and brought it down and soldered it against that point that I would exposed and that goes right over the center of that, of that plastic contact or the plastic point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some epoxy and I'm going to put a thin little coating of epoxy over this right here and underneath that and uh, let that harden overnight and that should hold that solder braid in place. I'm also going to put a little epoxy around this side underneath the joint here and around that to secure that so that this doesn't work loose. I've got to be really careful because you see these contact points along the back here. Those actually make contact with the back of the PC board here. <laughs> and that is how the keyboard interface interconnects with that ribbon cable which comes up to the uh, software package in the back of the, uh, the case. This is actually the software pack here and these are the uh, traces that bring that data in and then these are the traces for this RAM pack over here that bring that data in to this pressure point that makes contact with this pressure point to interface with the uh, rest of the calculator, which is here. That's a piezo buzzer for the beeper that's just tacked onto the back of the processor. Simple board. Yeah, then yeah, it's an interesting little board. Anyway, so I'm not going to know until tomorrow if this is going to work or not because i got to mix up some epoxy and very, very carefully apply it. Well, I couldn't wait till tomorrow. It's five minute epoxy and it's been about an hour. And uh, I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but this is a uh, epoxy all along here on this side and underneath, so it's held very securely in place where the solder connection is made. And on this side, ooh, where are we? Right over here. There's epoxy all along here, holding this end down. The center part is exposed where the battery makes contact. So that should bring power in. I'm going to put it back together. And we're going to see if it works. Now this goes together very easily. They've got these nice plastic guides along the side. It just lines right up. And there are four screws. Back out a little bit. Here we go. Four screws that were under these rubber feet. So we'll just put those back in. We'll just do this live and we'll see if it works. Now these uh, screws, just want to get that where it's snug. This one's broke. The uh, plastic is broken on the inside so that's not going to hold as well in this corner. I don't know what to do about that. It sits under a foot and there's not really enough room there for a washer. So I guess we'll just uh, get it snug and hope that holds it well enough. Shorter screws go at the, bi the bottom end here. Alright, moment of truth. Three packs in. Hey, we got a display. J 
GMAC. It's reading the uh, RAM card. How about that? 72 times. Look at that. Oh, sorry. Glare. So the calculator seems to work now. How about that? We fixed it. I don't know what model this is. Hewlett Packard 41 CV. Now completely functional. Thanks for watching.